All right, this is a treat. We're gonna take a look at a really old Mopar that Ron here knows about. And this guy got to try to drive this morning. So stay tuned. We're gonna walk and talk around this cool old Mopar. It hasn't been out here for 50 years. Yep. yep. 50 years and it's back. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm also really, really happy to see the car over my shoulder here back out. Mike Saucy, he's the fine caretaker of this car now. He found it, brought it back. Over. We're talking here. Hey it's, <laughs> hey, it's raw footage. Raw footage. Yeah. yeah. Mike found the car, brought it back to life. But the, the real story, I actually have a little bit of personal history with this car. I'm going to go way back 53 years. And it really starts at this place, Coletti Chrysler Plymouth, Coletti Racing out of Hillsboro, Oregon. I grew up as a little shot punk running around the floor of this place, four or five years old, where I really got indoctrinated into all things cool, which is Mopar. Mopar, no car, right, Mike? Right. Absolutely, Mopar, no car. Joe Coletti. Those guys won Carcraft All-Star Awards. They won all these two, three years in a row, I think. His son, Mark, youngest winner of a national event, the 1969 Winter Nationals in the Riddler Barracuda and Stock Eliminator, 17 years old. Mark was like my big brother. I was only four years old, but they just adopted me. So many cool people came out of Coletti's. Twig Ziegler, does that name sound familiar? Insert Larry Cole. Insert picture of Twig Robin, on his roof. Yeah, yeah, Twig on his roof. Twig Ziegler, Robin Withcom, Larry Kulch, the name goes on. These guys, the brain trust that was at this place was phenomenal. These guys cranked out some of the quickest and fastest Mopar products in the late 60s. In the late 60s and early 70s. And this car right behind me was one of those that Twig built. And I remember this car when they were building it for Jess Heitman. Jess Heitman passed away just a little over a year ago. He ran this car in Comp Eliminator. And in this picture right here in these little books that you could get from Coletti's, that's this car. This car was built, ran with a 340 a stick car in Comp Eliminator. And Jess ran it for, I think he had it for what, six years? Two years. Oh, shoot. I thought he had, anyways. He ran 71 and 72. 72 so and 72. Sold it. And then it kind of turned into what's known as the Goofy Grapes. Yeah. Let's uh, let's take a look. I'm going to let Mike yeah. talk a little bit about it. Mike? So, that, this is that original is, paint. Yeah, that, that is, is not a wrap. Original paint. <laughs> That's all original. Yeah. Gene Wright used to drive it out of uh, Ingenuity Automotive, which him and Larry both worked for the ladies that would yep. start there. And, uh, That's a lot of masking. Gene Haskins came out and did the striping. He remembers when it was originally striped. It was the goofy grape and the letter me. So, then we're out here today. And here what's You're really kind of cool, what's really kind of cool, I don't know if you heard it, is that the so Ron Parks, local racer, very talented individual, great guy. He matched it as, you know, brought the paint back to life when it needed to be done. Mike was able to get the original striper to come back and do some of the lines that was done back in the 70s. Remembers it, helped him through that. Let's take a look inside. Old school H pattern? Yep. A833. Yeah, it's even got the original tack that Jess I managed. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, that's cable drive, folks. That's uh, nice th for us old guys. That's how we had it. Yeah, didn't have any of the electronics. It smells old. I love it. <laughs> Not much has changed in the car since Twig did it. That's roll cake is still the same. I think he did put one bar in it, right? Yeah. Hey, Dave, come here. Let me show you something. So, back in the day. In the late 60s, when Hearst built the Hemi Barracuda and the Hemi Dart, the BO29 and the LO23 Dart, 
they took the window mechanisms out because that was a lot of weight. And what they ended up doing, they ended up using these straps. <clears throat> you can see there's no window crack. Yeah. They use these seat belt straps to pull the windows up and down because the windows had to work, but they didn't say they had to use the original uh, mechanisms. <clears throat> That's racing ingenuity to drop some weight on the car. And American Graffiti yes. reference <laughs> there. Very, very Look at that. Work. Perfect Ladies. old Mopar product. <laughs> Opens and closes beautifully. Quality. <clears throat> nice. The old school snorkel. Want to, take Want to take a look at the engine? Absolutely. Quick look under this thing. My connection to this car was the hood. My dad used to do the fiberglass work at Coletti's. He built the fiberglass hoods for Joe and this was one of the hoods that we built that supposedly, ended up going on this car. Supposedly, you do fiberglass work too, Ron. No, I don't. That's a lie. <laughs> don't believe everything Dave says. Look at those headers. Nice little, yeah, that's big big pipes for a 340. And it JR headers, it says on the fender. That's a really nice hood where you used to have Okay. Those things are big. Yep. So this is really a time capsule. Yeah. You know, and uh, a lot of kudos has to go to Mike and all of the people that helped him get this car back out here on the track. Mike just went up first time in 50 years. Unfortunately, it looks like it may have snapped an axle. Too much mole power. Power. Just too <laughs> powerful. That's what Mopars are. We know that. Stick car problems. <clears throat> stick the, car this life. This car was actually at that event, and we were able to get a new sticker exactly how that was originally. And I, I was going to say, some of these are the old stickers, right? Yep. Yeah. Su yeah, super cool. How about that? Winston. Yeah. Love it. All right, Ron. Thank well, you. Yeah, thanks super a lot, guys. Super cool. So, uh, hey, just remember... You get that content only on Deloney V8. You got to like, <laughs> subscribe, click on that button. Pretty soon you might see a Nitro Funny Car. I think we might have a video coming in a couple of weeks. And it'll be Mopar Power too. Of course. It's a Cuda body with a Mopar engine. And right. What else would it be? All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.